Hi, this is Jennifer Sanchez, and the purpose of this video is to give you a background or idea about this epic poem entitled Be Walk. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Beowulf has a lot of classic elements as an epic poem. You're gonna be seeing heroes, you're gonna be meeting monsters, and of course, you're gonna be seeing our fire breathing dragon. But first, I want to tell a little bit of foundation for what or when or where this epic poem came from. So, this epic poem, Beowulf, was the first great work of English national uh, literature. So, it is also a an old English epic poem and possibly the oldest surviving long poem in old English literature and commonly cited as the most important work as a work of uh, old English literature and even though it was written in uh, old English an ancient form of the language that slowly evolved into English now spoken and it was written in England sometime between the 8th and between the early 11th century so uh, although that the author of this poem was anonymous Ang an anglo-saxon poet and referred to by the scholars as the beowulf poet so beowulf has a peculiar history that complicates uh, both its historical and canonical position in English litera literature. Although originally entitled, and uh, later, it was later named after the Scandinavian hero Beowulf, uh, whose exploits and character provide its uh, connecting theme. So, so, for the first hundred years of Beowulf's prominence, uh, interest in the poem was primarily historical and the text was viewed as a source of information about the uh, Anglo-Saxon era. So, now the epic poem is about a hero whose name is Beowulf and who is going to fight against a demonic monster named Grendel and the Grendel's mother and then later on we're going to take down the uh, fire-breathing dragon. Okay, so let's go to its characterization. Uh, some of the people you are going to meet, including Beowulf himself, the title character, uh, he is a nephew of Higley of the Gates. And there is King Hrithgar, the King of Danes, and Wiglaf, a great warrior and one of the Beowulf, uh, Beowulf select bind, and the only one who helped him in his final, <coughs> final fight with the dragon. And I'm sorry about the spelling of the band, it's B-O-N-D. Okay, so the theme. So if you could remember in our <clears throat> uh, our previous slide, uh, the Anglo so uh, in Anglo Saxon, it is a couple of things that go into Anglo Saxon culture that tells you a little bit about what they valued. So the first idea is loyalty. So. Uh, loyalty is that you would fight for your king because you had promised and made a bind with your king and that you would avenge your kinsmen that if something happened to your people to your men uh, you would immediately go after them and help him so a loyalty of a warrior to his men and to his uh, leader so there is also a great deal with uh, generosity, gift giving. So, in Beowulf, uh, we could see that when Beowulf defeat Grendel and Grendel's mother, King Ruthgar threw a party into the into the hall, which is uh, they praise praise him and they uh, send him gifts and so on. So. Next is heroism. Um, there is a lot of emphasis of heroism and that, I mean, this is almost always about physical strength, courage in a battle, your skill and your resourcefulness in a battle, and uh, that's it. Rep and next is republic, I mean, public reputation. Uh, pub public reputation is not like what you are thinking about in the inside, uh, what you are worrying about 
your inside conscience but it was really about what you have shown to the rest of the world um like he uh be wolf defeat grindel's mother validates his reputation for uh, bravery and establishes him as a full uh him fully as a hero so so the point of this poem reflects further in how the responsibilities of a king who must act for the good of the people and not just for his own glory and it differ from those of the heroic uh, warrior so next is the setting and the and mode mode even though that uh, it is considered as a work in English early English um, because of the way it was originally told and it actually takes in Scandinavia remember that we have been uh, looking at the uh, the Anglo-Saxon and how many of the actual uh, of them actually came of this Viking tradition and they sailed over and settled in Britain accordingly and then they they brought this epic poem with them so also uh, scholars think that here the king of uh, the king here the kingdom that they mentioned or the Hirut hall might have been built in the coast in, of in Denmark Denmark so also that uh, places that involved in this story is the Hirut hall which is uh, the big guest hall with this is, would have been the largest hall uh, or building in the village uh, this is where the warriors gather to drink still and celebrate after the long uh, terrible uh, war, war and then the lake where Grindel's mother flees back off to her lair a cave under net and Gerland Beowulf's land where he is a lord in the court of a king Higlak so next is the tone okay so the tone of Beowulf is melancholy although the poem celebrates the de deeds uh, of Beowulf and other great leaders but the narrator of this poem often surrounds the events as a sense of doom so next is summary of plot so in this uh, poem there are three central contexts which are Grindel's domination of Herod Hall and Grindel's mother uh, vengeance vengeance after Grindel's Grindel is slain and the ray, uh, rage of the dragon after a thief uh, steals a treasure that it has been guarding and so uh, that is the tree so when king uh, Ruthgar the ruler of the Danes is troubled by the rampages of demon named Grindel so every night Grindel attacks King Ruthgar's wealthy med hall and then this King Ruthgar is uh, uh, has no power or not enough has um, the, um, he he has no strength enough to fight this demonic so um beowulf offers to fight grindel himself so king ruthgar gratefully accepts his offer so so when beowulf's defeat of grindel's vengeful killing of her son lead to the climatic encounter um clima between beowulf and grindel's mother overjoyed ruthgar showers Beowulf with gifts and treasures at the feast in his honor so um but uh, another threat is approaching when Grindel's mother swamp hag who lives in the di di desolate lake comes to hero seeking revenge for her son's death so so Grindel's mother was uh is a uh, worse than Grindel who is a man-eating monster that will show up or snatches people and eats them so Grindel's mother is a wa water witch so next is so the moral lesson of this epic poem is that uh, it is better to die young with heroism and virtue than to grow or ripe old age being cowardly and avoiding responsibilities and Beowulf shows great courage and fortitude as he protects the community by fighting Grindel, Grindel's mother and the dragon with Wiglaf. So honor is more important to him than preserving his, his life. So uh, Beowulf dies doing the right thing. But what is more important is that his memory will live on because of what he 
uh, because of the way he lived. So, he exemplified the ideals of honor, loyalty, great physical courage, um, and self-sacrifice that were the highest. So, um, th that's all. And I hope that you had uh, learned something and keep safe.